What's up everyone? My name is Jesse Reynard. Thanks again for checking out my channel. So today is going to be another Edit Like a Pro uh, video and we're going to be talking today about using actions in Photoshop. So it's similar to using a Lightroom preset but um, this is done in Photoshop. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is duplicate your layer. Um, so if you're using a Mac like me, you just do Command J. So once you do Command J, um, you're going to have your duplicate layer. This is the one that we're going to be working off of, and it's important to create a duplicate layer. That way, you're not um, you're not ruining your original photo, and then uh, it's a huge pain in the butt to have to go back. So you can always revert to the original if you make mistakes. So the first thing I want to point out is uh, the way I have my Photoshop actually set up. So if you just go up to Window up at the top and then Workspace, I always have Photography selected. So if you're following along, I suggest having Photography selected. So when you do that, it's going to have history and then actions up at the top here in the top right. So basically, you want to um, hit this little window. It looks like uh, the same little button as if you're creating a layer, but um, if you click it, it's going to give you the option to create a new action. So for today, uh, we're just going to name it um, Flare plus some. There's other options too, you can select uh, like default, you can create function keys, so when you load up your Photoshop and you have your image, you can just click like F1 and then it immediately applies whatever your action is. Uh, I'm just going to keep none selected and then color if you want to color coordinate it, so we're just going to select blue for now. And then once you're ready, you just hit record. And as you can see here, it shows red, um, it shows that it is recording. So basically now it's going to record all of the steps that you take. Uh, one thing I will note that if you create layer masks and you start masking different parts of the image, it actually doesn't record those steps, but um, it basically will record the way you set up your layer masks and then that way you're just ready to start editing right off the bat. So the first thing we want to do is um, just go to your filter. So for me, I'm just going to create like a lens flare uh, type of filter and that way I can just apply it to all my photos if I really wanted to. So you just go to filter, render, and then lens flare. So basically for me, I want to make it look like uh, the lens, like the light is shining from the light in the background basically. So we're just gonna, going to choose that. And usually I'm going to add a layer mask because I want to mask out some of the bottom areas like uh, all of these circles and stuff like that. So I'm just going to click layer mask. And I'm going to keep it white because that makes it easier for uh, removing objects opposed to adding them in. And then I'm just going to click a new layer and then I'm going to go to edit fill and now I'm basically going to add a like a, I'm going to add a filter to the picture to basically just make it look more like the way I kind of edit them so we're just going to choose 50% uh, gray so I add gray if I want to add um, like fog or kind of like a fade to the photo I'll do it this way and we're going to make transparency 75 and then again we're just going to do layer mask but this time we're going to edit it and we're going to fill it black and make sure that you change your opacity back to 100. And then that way I can just manually add it in. Then we're just gonna add another layer. We're gonna fill it, but this time we're gonna fill it like an actual color. So you just go to color and we're just gonna add, we're gonna introduce some orange, uh, kind of like a tan look. So same thing, we're just going to then add a layer. We're gonna fill it black because I want to then introduce it into the photo. Black, boom. Add another one, and then this time we're going to add a little bit of red. Boom. 
And then we're going to fill it black again. And I don't want uh, all of these to just override the photo, so I'm just going to make them screen. Okay. And then I'll just quickly show you how I edit it, and then um, we'll basically delete all these and then apply the action. And then you can see the way it actually works and how it gets applied to your image. back in his body here and um, just so you guys know this is uh, Jor Jordan Sterling I uh, met him through a friend when we went out shooting last summer and he's a really good poet so make sure to follow his Instagram you will see it in the description below Sorry for uh, the scratching too, like the scratching noise is super annoying, but that's what happens when you don't have a mouse pad. Okay. All right, so then uh, once you're done doing the photo, you guys can uh, see, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here, but basically you just hit stop. Once you hit stop, that finishes your entire uh, action. So you can see here under uh, flare plus some, you can see kind of the breakdown of everything that's applied. So I'm just gonna delete all of these now. Delete that one, I'm going to duplicate my layer. And then I'm going to select the one that I wanna use. So it's gonna be flare plus some, and then hit play. And now you can see, so everything's applied and set up how I want it. And then I can start just editing as if I uh, just was restarting. So, you know, remove all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And then you basically get the point here. Um, so this is definitely a huge time saver. If you're one of those people who use Photoshop like myself, um, if you're like a wedding photographer or uh, just somebody who's always editing in bulk and you have this specific action that you just always do to all of your photos, it would 100% make sense to create an action in Photoshop and then you just have it right there. So it's just like applying a preset on Lightroom. You just click play, it gets applied to your image and then you know, you're all done. So it's a huge, huge time saver. And I don't know if a lot of people know how to do this. So this isn't for uh, just new photographers or new people editing in Photoshop. This is also for all of you um, tenured people who have been shooting for a very long time and you're just kind of dab dabbing into Photoshop. This is definitely a very, very cool and uh, helpful tip. So this was a short video. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to create actions. I feel like uh, this is one of those features that people maybe have heard about but um, have never applied. And if you like this video, definitely give me a uh, thumbs up. For sure, subscribe to my channel. I can't express how uh, thankful I am for all of you people who have subscribed and are watching these videos. And uh, please let me know if you're learning something. Leave me a comment below and take me in all your photos on Instagram if you are uh, using any of my tutorials to learn something. So you just do hashtag Jesse Reynard or hashtag edit like a pro Jesse. Whatever you wanna do, I'd be more than happy to see them. Yeah, stick around for the next video and uh, peace. Wow, wow, wow.